So if you take lactobacilli orally, what happens to it? Well, first of all, these uh, capsules have been made in, in such a way that the organisms do not come out in the stomach or the bile. In other words, they don't start growing in either, either area of the body. And that's important because even although the organisms can resist the severe acidity of the stomach and the bile acid which comes in uh, as it moves down the intestine, uh, it's better that they start growing when they're in the small intestine. And this is Christian Hansen who have uh, developed a technique of using a natural carbohydrate on top of the organisms that protects them. And so they start multiplying in the small intestine and then they go down through the colon and they, are, they, they come out at the anal skin. And as much as this might sound uh, strange to many people, that's a normal process where they're on the rectal surface. And then just if you think about it, when we walk around, clearly when we wear underwear, uh, these organisms are moving across the surface of our uh, private area, I suppose you'd call it. And what we really need the lactobacilli to do is we need it to reduce the number of E. coli that are in that environment, because the E. coli cause bladder infections, and reduce the bacteriovaginosis organisms and reduce yeast. So we did a study where we gave lactobacilli rhamnosus and lactobacillus reuteri daily for up to a month in a group of women. And we took vaginal swabs to see what would happen. And we also had a placebo group who didn't get the probiotic. Well, it turns out in the placebo group, we had an elevation of yeast and what we call coliforms or E. coli type organisms in the vagina after a month. And the lactobacilli numbers actually went down. And this makes sense because, as we mentioned at the beginning, the, the risk of a woman developing an infection does change over the menstrual cycle. And so it sometimes women will actually have uh, almost no lactobacilli and others will have lots of E. coli and yeast. Now, in the lactobacilli treated group, the exciting part for us was that the lactobacilli numbers in the vagina were significantly higher, the yeast were much lower, and the E. coli and other organisms were much lower. And so what this did was it proved that we can essentially help the good bacteria move from the rectal area along the skin and into the vagina and cut down the number of harmful bacteria and yeast that do this. And so this is an important concept because what we're trying to do is normalize the lactobacilli. So we're trying to make sure that the woman has more of the good bacteria uh, on a daily basis than the potentially harmful bacteria or the yeast. And so the concept is to reduce the risk of a woman getting an infection and to help her maintain health.